you starting only the electronic parts, but not the power component. Okay. Now we are in service mode. We go to setting the uh, most important parameters. Okay, UPS setup. setup. UPS status is the same things, but you cannot really to modify really anything. Okay, okay. UPS setup. Option. Start up on battery. Is disabled. You have to setting enable. If you setting disable and you have only a battery, you cannot to start on the UPS. You must to have battery and input. If you setting enable, you can start in the UPS only with the battery, the cold start. Auto restart is enabled. Okay. UPS mode is not important. Is disabled. What is the UPS mode? Is uh, Eco mode, huh? Eco mode. No. Emergency, Emergency power, power uh, sacred. Uh, normally the UPS remain in off when you have the mains failure starting the output. Okay. When you come back the mains, the UPS shutdown. return in shutdown, shutdown okay. for the emergency lamp or other okay, okay, okay. Output, voltage, 230, you can move in from uh, 184, 84, you can arrive 250, 145, sorry. Okay, normally I set in 230, but uh, I don't know, uh, if uh, here you want 220, you can, no problem. If I not push a confirm and escape, I return to the provision setting. Not if I put confirm, Save. I put the new setting, okay? Frequency, nominal, uh, nominal value, 60 Hz, okay, you have modifier, correct. You have to, you can change 50 or 60. Or here, auto, -select. auto selection, if you setting enable, enable okay, are. it's not correct, mm, this setting, because if you, you have the 50 Hz in the input, the, your output change from 60 to 50. It's better. If you s this one remain always disabled, okay. Uh, we using enable in, uh, for example, in uh, in South America, like Brazil. Uh, if you go in the west, in the west of Brazil, they have 50 Hz. If you go in the other part, change from 50 in the same nation, in the same country. No, it, for this reason, they setting uh, enable and the UPS. Uh, if you're moving inside the country, it's take the, f the correct frequency. Yeah. Inverter, this is important. Okay, single phase. In this case, it's correct. You have setting before. Normally, when you receive the UPS, you receive in this way. Okay. And if you want to set in the three phase independent, in this one. The three options. Yeah. But uh, normally we use or this one or single phase. Single phase, yes. Okay, in single phase, input you don't have nothing to do. Bypass only verify that the bypass enable. Okay, perfect. Then forced mode bypass. What is it? Forced mode is for transfer the load on bypass. bypass. So service after we check. Okay, okay. Battery. This is important. You have two setting, okay, threshold values is uh, the, uh, the time uh, <coughs> before then the, uh, the time of the alarms. Normally is a setting at three minutes, but if you want, you can move it from one to, I don't know, but really it's very, very long time. 255 minutes, Nearly two hours and no, more. No, four hours. No, four hours. Ten minutes, okay. Ten minutes. We confirm and uh, yeah, we setting the new parameters. Thirty minutes. I'm there. And Here, minutes. if I want, I can setting the maximum time on battery. For example, uh, if uh, <coughs> I have the uh, supply some some things, for example, uh, inside one factory uh, where uh, construction the, the the ceramics, okay. The UPS is using for give the power to the control of the machine, but not all the machine, only the control. Mains failure, you know that the, the machine employed five minutes for discharging the line. Yes. 
you can set in this 10 minutes after 10 minutes of main failure the UPS also if the battery is charged shut down for save the autonomy of the battery okay because return the, the, the power if you are discharging completely the battery you don't have the, you have the battery completely discharged in these cases no you use the battery only for the time you need to use really because after it's not important uh, auto restart uh, you remember if you set in this one disable when the battery arrive end of discharge the UPS remain in off until you arrive and starting start again. again. And open for charger. Hmm? No, need, no need to make any change in charger. Back charger. Yes, charger. Uh, this one is a standby charge. You remember yesterday I explained to you the possibility to recharge in the battery with the UPS completely off. off. If you set in this one enable, okay. Yeah, and you have the input also the also if the UPS is in off uh, the, the charger working to recharge the battery it's always enabled huh? yeah here you have to one. setting the number of the KB okay uh, you strings. setting uh, one two depend okay in these cases we have one okay confirm in case of the UPS uh, 240 and 480, if you have a separated battery, you exp I explained yesterday, if you push, uh, okay, this is confirmed. If I'm moving, uh, no, it's not possible because here we have only one control. But in any case, if you have two or more control and you push enter, you change the number of the control. Zero, one, two, three, okay, and you can set in the different value between uh, control to control. We can assign different number of the KBs to each. Yes, to or the different ampere hour also. But this one automatically detected if how many yeah. ampere hour. Total KB and capacity. That's all. Uh, I don't know this type of nine. battery. Nine. Nine, okay, but you can move it from. Uh, uh, 7.2 battery, 7.2 ampere hour. You can arrive. 94? No, no. no, no, no 90, 90, 97. 97 only? 1000 maybe this one. 999 probably, 1000 ampere. Because we have also battery 1000 ampere. No, 250, uh, sorry. 250 ampere yeah. hour. Maximum. 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 Yeah. Depending of the power the UPS, and because if you take uh, uh, 80 kVA kilowatt, this number increases. How can we check the dip of distance of the battery? Setup? No, dip of uh, distance. Yeah. The target is this uh, mega line? No, I don't, I don't understand. Uh, because the cutoff point of this uh, yes. the mega line is 28 dip of distance. Okay, uh, this one is. Uh, uh, is um, you have a window. Who, uh, the your uh, the your window is uh, between 1.67 volt for a cell, and you can arrive uh, uh, two point uh, no, one point uh, Okay, depending the quantity of the load you have connected on the UPS. Okay, we are finished. Now, the UPS is ready to start. Okay. The setting is finished. We can switch off. We can install all the power module. Okay. Now, we starting again in service mode because I want to see if the control board recognized uh, in correct way the power model. Okay, I starting in service mode. 
Okay, now I can open the door. Now all the LED is on, okay, and now switching one by one. The important, they follow this sequence. This is the power module number zero, always. One, two, three, four, five, and so on. If I start in the service mode, before completely on the power module, after switch off one by one with the correct sequence. Yeah, it's correct. We can start in the UPS, also with the battery. We start in the UPS on battery. Normally, I prefer. Wings not present. Turn up not allowed. Probably I not confirm as a startup on battery. Uh, UPS setup option. Startup on battery. Ah, I can say okay, disable. I setting enable. Confirm it. Escape. Normally, I prefer start on the UPS in this way because the same thing, uh, okay, I ask to confirm uh, to start on. If you are not sure and you don't touch nothing, after 30 seconds, the UPS aborted the, uh, the, your, uh, the your command. On battery, sort of? No, no, always, always. If you are not sure and you are, when you ask you a confirm, if you not put a confirm, after 30 seconds, the UPS aborted the, the your command. Okay. 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 UPS turned off. <laughs> Start up aborted. I prefer to start in the UPS in this mode because okay. if something is wrong, remain inside the UPS and you not create any problem to the customer. Okay, now because the UPS is the new configuration, not recognize the battery charge and give me uh, the alarms of ba mm -hmm. battery discharging. Yeah, but right. now increase mm -hmm. looking. Okay, now the UPS uh, working. If uh, we want, we can close the output. The green to the engine. The green to the engine. We can close the input. I'm sorry. And the bypass. Now you can close. Okay, you can close. No, main supply you want? Yes. Okay. Yeah, now green. No, green, green, green. Main supply is not going to go. Battery is going to go. When working on battery, it will be orange. Orange. This, this yes, if you try to simulate the main failure, open the, the input bracket. To be orange. Orange fixed. Fixed. Not because, close again, sorry. <laughs> Now it's not in sync with the bypass because flashing. Okay, now the power module will take a sync with the bypass. Now if I transfer the load on bypass, enter, UPS setup, bypass, force mode, from disable to enable, confirm is orange flashing. flashing. The UPS the is on static bypass. bypass. Now we can change the manual Now bypass. you can close the manual bypass. This one. Okay. okay. We can open the output. output. And, and can we also open this bypass? Before you have to switch off the, the UPS. In other way, if you open in this way, the, the bus remains charged, the DC bus, the capacitor. 
you have to switch off the UPS from here. Okay, now when the display is completely off, the display is off, okay, now starting the charging uh, battery because we have setting uh, standby charge, uh, you can open the input and the bypass if you want. Now, you should bypass both? Yeah, yes, static not the manual bypass. Eh? Static bypass. Static bypass. bypass. This one? Yes. Uh -huh. This is open the bypass. Yes. Input be open. Yeah, input. Eh? Now load is still fading from this uh, bypass. Bypass. Yeah. Now there is no contact with UPS. Okay, we have the battery now because it's not possible to disconnect it. Now you know, load say, supply say, load to be jare or battery be charged over here. UPS the, the charging continue to charge the battery because the input is present, no? And the charging continue to no, charge. Now we the open the input. Yeah, but before the, yeah, the yeah. breaker, you have an input. Yes, yes, yes. Now, now we can remove the power module and repair. Now we can yes. remove the power module. Looking, this is, is the LED. Before to removing, if you want, you can check the LED here. It's off. Now we. No, now I start in the UPS and I show you yes, the LED yes. is uh, very very visible. Okay, we can start it again. For restarting the UPS, remember during the startup phase, never you must have closed in the same moment manual bypass and output breaker. Okay, in these cases I check, okay, the manual bypass is closed, but the output breaker is open. I can close the input, the input for the bypass. Okay. I can start in the my UPS. Looking now starting in different mode eh, because we have the manual bypass closed. <coughs> Enter to confirm. Maintenance bypass uh, open or output. Enter to confirm. You ask to you to verify it. You have the manual bypass closed. If the your output breaker is open, is open. I can turn on. In this moment, the inverter arrive near to the output. If the output breaker is closed, you have a short circuit between bypass, manual bypass, and inverter. Okay. Now the UPS recognizes the uh, the UPS on bypass. We can. <coughs> close the output breaker <coughs> we can open the manual bypass enter again UPS setup bypass close for set mode from enable to disable enter and the UPS return in normal operation Look in the LED on the DC bus when the UPS are in on. Yeah, it's green light. <coughs> yes. <coughs> green light, Arana? Okay. Two, two green? Two green lights. Yeah. Okay, now. If you want to try to transfer the load on bypass, switch on, switch off, and so on. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Or better, after? Confirm. We modify the UPS. Now we are setting three phase, one phase. We return to three phases, three phases. Okay? In online mode, okay, we, can, uh, we, can, uh, we, can we can remove. Mm. In online mode, you can charge the charger to any No, no, no. You can use inside the AR mode after I show you. After you have to switch I know it's a yeah. uh, 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 charger. 